So a while back I was climbing on the Blake's Hitch, similar to this. This is a some familiar configuration. Oftentimes you'll see a different knot here. You might see a rescue knot. But this is a Blake's Hitch, a 2 over 3 Blake's Hitch. And I've tied the carabiner on with a scaffold knot. The nice thing about the scaffold knot is that it exits up the climbing line and parallel to the uh, running end of your climbing line and also being that it's a cinching knot it doesn't allow the carabiner to become misoriented or get sideways. Another advantage to a scaffold knot or an anchor hitch is that regardless of how much load you've put on this and how much it's cinched down you can always easily remove the carabiner and undo the knot. Another popular configuration is to tie it with an anchor knot or an anchor hitch. Again, the advantage is that it's a cinching knot and it will not allow your carabiner to become disoriented. In this case, the uh, tail of your climbing line exits out to the side. Anybody that has climbed on a Blake's hitch understands that one of the challenges is sliding your Blake's hitch up the uh, climbing line as you advance. One popular method to do that is to uh, put a uh, micro pulley below the Blake's hitch so it self tends. Of course you want to have some form of a stopper knot on the tail to keep your Blake's hitch from rolling out. So another option for tending the Blake's hitch since you're going to be tying a stopper knot on the tail anyway is to tie another Blake's hitch on the running end of your line so now that it will self tend. The only disadvantage is after a period of time it does tend to tighten your Blake's hitch. And here's a configuration with the Blake's hitch as the stopper knot and as I ascend it will self tend. Now I'm going to get to the point of this video. In any climbing system, when you're ascending, this section of your climbing line, this part of the real estate of your climbing line, is critical for being able to hold onto the climbing line and pull yourself up. I want to be able to use this and put my hands on it and pull myself up on the climbing line. When I'm descending, this part of the rope becomes critical for controlling the Blake's hitch. So in a descent, I would like to have my Blake's hitch right here in front of my shoulders. When I'm climbing, I don't want that Blake's hitch in front of my shoulder. I want a nice clean climbing line so that when I pull down on the climbing line, I'm not bumping into the Blake's hitch or friction hitch or whatever I have. I like to be able to get a hold of this climbing line and put the strength of my arms onto that line to pull myself up. And here's an option that I like even better than the clove hitch. Again, an extremely short bridge. It's using an anchor knot. The anchor knot is really great because after it's loaded it's so easy it's so easy to break open and put some slack so that you can lengthen your bridge for your descent. This has the Blake's hitch, the anchor knot, and then for a stopper knot on the running end, I've used another Blake's hitch to, again, help tend the uh, Blake's, hitch, Blake's hitch that I'm using for a cli uh, climbing system. For the ascent, I have the carabiner cinched with an anchor knot, an extremely short bridge, the Blake's hitch, and the Blake's hitch on the running end of the climbing line as a stopper knot. during the scent. So the knot self tends.
get up here where I can I would clip in just assume you've clipped in now we're gonna take and break open probably easier to take what I'll do is take the Blake hitch stopper knot off and then we'll crack open the anchor hitch and lengthen our bridge. Have a good good length for my bridge. We uh, cinch the anchor knot back down. Get a little bit more length. I have I have not untied for him any, from anything. And there's a better length for my hitch for the descent. Anyway, maybe another way to do it. This is a configuration with a very short bridge, almost a non-existent bridge. I'm using a clove hitch, which is easily uh, tied midline. And it also is a cinching knot so that the carabiner will not disorient. But the nice thing about this is that it will self-tend as you go up. It self-tends. And this part of the real estate is available for putting your hands on without getting in the way of the Blake's hitch while you're climbing up. And other